I'm Lakia Brandenburg. I have a bachelor's in professional English, a master's in educational leadership, and over five years experience teaching middle school language arts. Today I'm going to show you some reading games for middle school stations. Now stations are a very engaging way to get your students involved in learning. And it's actually one of the three preferred models for teaching. What I have here are some grammar stations, and these are games that I've created for my students to be very interactive with. And we're going to focus on subject-verb agreement. Here I have the game card, as well as the rule card. And what the students are going to have to do first is sort their subjects and their verbs. So I have some subjects that I created, and I also have some verbs. This is a subject, this is a subject. Now using their rule card, they're going to follow the subject verb agreement rule. The stick man represents the subject. So when I have one stick man, I add an S to my verb. So I'm going to find one stick man or one subject, place it under subject, and then follow the rule. So this rule is telling me to add an S to my verb. So my sentence reads, she skates. This is subject verb agreement. Here I have a do you have comma sense game. What I have are sentence strips without punctuation, and then I have the game pieces of commas. Your students will have to read the sentences and then place the commas on the sentence where they belong. After the ball game, let's go and get some dinner. So I know that my comma goes between game and let's because we're separating clauses. This is one of my favorite games. The sentence structure game. This station has two games inside of it. What you want to do is to label each sentence structure. We have four sentence structures. And what you can do is allow your students to play around with how they would create a sentence structure. For example, you have an independent clause. We know that one independent clause equals a simple sentence. So they would align them as so. Or, what happens when you have one independent clause plus a dependent clause? This will equal what type of sentence structure? So the students will know that this is a complex. Another game you can play with the sentence structures is to provide the actual sentences and have your students to align the sentence structure with the correct sentence. For example, Dana Jones actively participates in ballet and dance. We know that this is an example of a simple sentence. Last but certainly not least, we have author's purpose. Now this is not a grammar station, but this is a good game to play when teaching your students author's purpose. You want to find some very short passages or paragraphs, and this can be played with two students. Have that student to read, student A for example, read the passage and then student B has to identify what the author's purpose is. To <clears throat> add more to the game, you can have them also provide evidence that they've heard that supports why they selected that author's purpose. This is Lakia Brandenburg, and I just showed you some reading games for middle school stations.